Hello, this is John uh, from AutoCAD for Interior Designers. And yesterday, my one of my students had a question about this uh, the situation here in AutoCAD. We're tracing a floor plan, and here uh, she wants to know how to get these chairs to encircle this table. It's a command we hadn't talked about in class yet, and we're still learning some preliminary uh, options, drafting options in AutoCAD. So, so let's address this. So first off, we need to figure out how big is this table. So let's do a DIST and simply go from left to right. And it tells us the table is about seven foot, let's call it seven foot six. So C is for circle, enter. I click the center point and I, I do D for distance, or rather diameter. And I type seven foot six. That gives me a seven foot six table. And luckily I was pretty close to the right spot. I also draw a line or L from the center of the table, and my snap to turn down here. So my snap to turn down to pick up the center of objects. So when I draw a line and I hover around this circle, it'll find the center of the circle. Click, draw a line over to the left. And I'm doing that to make sure this chair here is in the right spot. So let's draw this chair. Uh, let's do another SDIST. That says it's about one foot eight. So I'll draw a rectangle, REC, from this corner to this corner up here. So I'll do that by doing at symbol with shift two. And I'll do one foot eight, comma, one foot eight, enter. Now there's no guarantee that that chair is in the center of this line here. And I wanna make sure it's dead center. So we need to move it and, it and make sure it is centered. Otherwise, because I just eyeballed it here, I'm tracing a JPEG and that's not a good idea. So I'll do M for move, click on this rectangle, enter and hover around the center point Click, and then I will move it up and type PER to force a perspect a perpendicular uh, O-snap, enter. And then I'll touch this line and it'll force it to be perpendicular to anything I select here. So it's a kind of an override, click. So now that rectangle is perfectly centered right there. I need to draw another line here. So I'll draw L or line along here. I will move it over to the right, maybe six inches, too far. Let's move it back three inches. And now TR for trim, enter. We click on that to erase it. And that chair is right there. No longer need this. Delete. So that chair is being copied several times. Now later I might come back and update the chair, maybe give it some arms and, and make it more, more stylized. But for the time being, this is, this is a good start. And what I want to do is make sure that object there is a block. So I'm gonna type uh, B for block and give it a name. So let's call it, let's say it's chair 20 because it's 20 inches square. I will select it and I'll draw a little circle around it, hit enter and I'll do a pick point and I'll do the midpoint of this chair, perhaps right here. It could be any place, but I'm gonna use the center point. Click and hit okay. Now it turns out that getting that chair to be copy multiple times around the circle is actually pretty fast and easy. And the trick is the array command. The array command is right here. You click array, choose the chair, enter, and it gives you an array that's a rectangular array. That's not the one we want, hit escape. Or control Z to undo. What we're looking for is to open this menu and use the polar array, because the rectangular array makes a grid, whereas the polar array, array makes a copy in a, in a circular fashion, just like the little sample there. Click, choose this object, enter, and it says specify the center point of the array. Now again, if I hover around the circle, it's going to snap to the center point because my O snaps here in the bottom, la bottom right has a center point snap activated. So it's looking for centers of objects. And if this, this is a circle, you'll find the center of a circle. Click. And there's your copies preliminarily, and up here at the top, it says number of items. Number of items is 10. Enter. And there, lo and behold, are your 10 chairs. You can change information. You can change the angle between the chairs. You can change it whether it's filling it 360 degrees, which is a full circle, 180, if you want to go half a circle. There's any number of objects here. I'm not going to get into the rest of it, but that is the quickest way to get that chair copied around that table. I'm going to choose the 
the uh, save command there, and we're done. That's it. Quick tip, using Polar Array to create this uh, 10 chair array around this table. Okay, that's it for now. We'll see you around.